it started with evaluating everything that we do on a day-to-day -day basis and trying to decide, okay, what is safe in the in this new environment that we live in now? The first thing is a football game. How do we how do we start with that? How do we keep the kids apart? How do we make sure that they are masked up? How do we make sure that they can still play? How do we still function as a band? We have three different styles of masks. It's uh, very different than a uh, standard mask. Um, all of it looks the same. I, I imagine a kind of a slit this way, and it overlaps a little bit, so students can kind of tuck their mouthpiece in and around, and then they can play, and as their mouthpiece comes out, the, the mask seals back over them uh, to make sure that everybody is kept safe uh, and so we can still play our instruments. We went even further. Um, we have some bags, basically, that we designed through the help of some band moms. We have a, an opening for the mouthpiece and then hand holes that are elastic to seal the hands around uh, so the students can still manipulate the woodwind instruments uh, and still operate and then no aerosols are released. What is our greatest group of fans and supporters? And that's our alumni band. Um, these are people that marched in our shoes, literally. And I basically just went, went to them and said, we, we need help. Within 48 hours, they had raised over $20,000, which is unbelievable. And so they just wanted to provide these students here the same opportunities that they had. The very first time we got together and played, they all had their masks on, their safety gear, and I just thought, I don't know how they're going to do this, you know, but our kids are amazing at Iowa State. And the tears <laughs> that flowed from my face, just to see them having fun and dancing and making music again together, it was therapeutic for all of us, and I think it's going to be awesome on Saturday.